you have a scorecard in your business? Have you ever been to a sporting event, football game, baseball game, soccer match that didn't have a scoreboard? Neither have I. Imagine if you're gonna take off on an airplane and you have no instruments. It's a beautiful day outside. You know where you're going. You've never been there before, but you're gonna fly there. So you take off. You don't know how fast you're going. You don't know how you're flying and you're just using visuals to get there. You have no map, no compass, and then it gets dark, what happens? Or you run into a storm, what happens? You're probably not gonna get to where you wanna go. So in, just like flying that airplane, you need to have a scorecard in, in some instruments for your business. Some of the things that you know you have are a profit and loss statement, that is something that's gonna show you where you're at at the end of a quarter, a month, or at the end of a year. But what's driving that profit? A lot of you use KPIs and things of that nature, but yeah, does everybody on the team have their own scorecard? For example, in sales, we all know that to get more sales, you have to make sales calls, you have to follow up, you have to do certain things that have to happen. I used a really simple scorecard with sales, with my salespeople, and I just had a pitch counter from baseball and just clicked on the pitches, which were sales calls. So at the end of the day, they knew how many sales calls they made. At the end of the week, they knew how many sales calls they made. But that's really simple. Something that would be more challenging is to have a scorecard with a spreadsheet. And then that spreadsheet, you would have the scoreboard item and you need to pick five to 15 items and the fewer number of items that you pick the easier it's going to be to keep really good track of what your score is and then inside those items you'd have your goal what do you want to accomplish and then what did you actually accomplish for the week so this scorecard is something that you would take a look at on a weekly basis a monthly basis and also quite frequently a daily basis just to see where you are because what this allows you to do is change course in the middle of a week, in the middle of a month, and you know what's driving sales, what's driving profit, what's driving whatever you're trying to drive. You know what those indicators are, what those measurements are on an ongoing basis. And it's extremely important if you're gonna run a business that you have a scoreboard. And why? Well, number one, it creates accountability. Uh, everybody knows what their numbers are. Everybody knows what they're trying to achieve on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. It creates clarity of the goal. It allows everybody to know that, hey, this is the goal and this is how we're gonna accomplish that goal. These are the activities that need to happen and this is what we're gonna measure. Also creates competition. I love competition. Uh, it's one of my top five Clifton strengths. So inside your business, it's all gonna, it's also gonna create competition with your team members. The other thing it will create too, is it will create better teamwork. And you're gonna see better teamwork because everybody's striving to hit their goals and they're gonna help each other to hit their goals. And this provides you an opportunity to make in-course corrections. Just like flying, if you have those instruments, you're gonna get off course as you're flying and the instruments allow you to get back on course. The same thing happens with having a scoreboard. What it's gonna allow you to do is be able to have a measuring tool to be able to keep you on course so you hit your targets, you hit your numbers. I'd love to hear how you implement this and what you use today. And if you need any help, let me know. Thanks and be great.